Hi there everybody, my name is Josh Rogers and welcome to MBN Guitar. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to install a Sagework guitar support. So let's get straight into it. First of all, what do we need? As you can see here, I've removed all the strings on my guitar. You don't have to remove all the strings, you can just loosen them off. All you need to do is loosen them off enough so that you can get your hand right into the sound hole so that you can place the magnets inside. Thankfully, all the tools that you need are supplied in the box. The first is the set of Sagework guitar instructions. That's the instruction manual. And if you just go through, you can see there's several pages dedicated to the correct installation of the guitar support. It's very detailed and there's a lot of really good illustrations. The most important one of which I think is this particular illustration here. Uh, I'll come back to it, but basically what it's saying is that try to make sure that your angles are nice and straight and that's probably basic physics. If you've got too much of an angle on your support then you're not really taking advantage of a straight line and you may risk the support sort of not breaking off but coming loose because the the pressure being applied to it is not going in a direct line. But anyway, we'll get into that in a bit more detail a bit later. That's the installation manual. It also comes with a handy little Allen key which you're going to need to loosen or tighten a couple of the adjusting points on the support. It also comes with this which is the adhesive strips that are used to attach the magnets when you finally figure out where you're going to place them to the inside of the guitar and these are two adhesive strips that are just used for marking purposes. And finally the big daddy it's actually the support itself and on here when you pull it out of the box you might be thinking oh where are the magnets but actually the magnets are on here and you can just twist and I find just pulling them off if you just try to pull them off directly it's really hard but you give them a little twist and it's quite easy to do just twist release so we have two of those there's one and the second one same twist release they are really strong so you actually sort of have to distance them apart from each other, otherwise if you get them too close, yeah, that's what happens. They are extremely powerful. So those are all the pieces that are required. We've got the support there, the two magnets, the Allen key, the adhesive strips, and if you need to go back to it, the Sagework installation manual. Alright, let's do this. So the first thing is to get the magnets in place. And what you can do is, you can just kind of imagine where the support is going to go. This is the long end, and that goes closest to the neck. So you've got this piece here, that's going to go closest to the neck. And the shorter piece with the angled bracing here, that's going to be going to the lower end of the guitar. So it's basically going to go on here, like that. So we place that to the side. Now, with the installation of the magnets, you can see it's got two shiny pieces on this side and on this side it's all black. The shiny pieces go to the outside so it's going to go like this not this way. Alright so make sure you've got these facing the wood on the inside of your guitar not facing into the guitar itself. It's really important make sure you've got them like that. Okay so I'm going to put the first one in and the installation guide recommends to place the lower one in. So this curved brace, that's the one you're going to attach first. So this is a dummy run. What you're doing is you're just getting it ready before you actually do the final installation with the adhesive tapes. So this is just a dummy run, so I'm going to place this one in first. And I'm just going to hold it there and then I'm going to bring the support close and you can see it actually finds the magnet itself. It doesn't really need you. So there we go, it's attached. There's really awesome uh, protection at the end here, so you're not going to scratch your guitar up at all. So don't be uh, shy to move it around. So that's the first one. It's as simple as that. It's done. Remember, they're going to find each other in there, so it's not really too hard to do this. And then we're going to place the second magnet in, and that's for the long arm, the arm that's closest to the neck. Same process. I'm just going to put it in, and there, it's found itself. Now at this point, it's basically done. So I would suggest that this is the time to actually grab your guitar 
and place it and then try to adjust the guitar support to suit your own style of playing. Don't worry about it falling off or anything like that because it's actually really strong. When I was doing this I found that I didn't even need these adhesive strips. It seemed to feel comfortable enough without it. But uh, of course I'm going to be putting these in but when you're just trying to set it all up and get it into a comfortable position for you I, I, I'd say that you can do it with just the magnets themselves. This, they're so strong. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take them out again and I'm just going to show you how to adjust the various points on here first. What I did was, before I actually do that, I'm just going to say that like, I, I actually found the perfect spot for me. So what I did was I tightened up these. There's an Allen bolt obviously in there and there and I tightened just those up and uh, what that meant was when I go to actually finally put this in with the adhesive strips they're already ready to go and I'm just gonna have to basically put it on like this put the strips on and it's gonna be exactly as I want it to play okay so here we have the various points on the support let me just go from here this goes you can actually turn this if you, I show it to you from the side you can see the angle This is to suit the angle of your thigh, really, and uh, this is a brilliant feature. So it, it's actually got a lot of uh, degrees that you can go through. Yeah, so that's one method of adjustment. This button here allows you to slide the support up and down. So if I loosen it off, you can see that I can move the brace just like that similar to the alternator in your car if you're a bit of a car buff the uh, usually the alternator tensioner in the old days anyway was like like that and there's also a very similar bracket adjusting option here as well these you would obviously want to tighten up really really well when you've decided upon your final playing position and set up for this but there's a lot of flexibility with this and uh, I guess you need it really because we're all so different and uh, the idea that you can customize this setup to suit your own body and your own playing style is really really fantastic uh, anyway so let's get into the final part of the installation so I actually thought even though in the instruction manual it says to use these I'm not actually going to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the magnets to help me with this part. So what I mean is I'm just going to attach the top one. It's actually a little different to what they suggest in the manual but this is my way of doing it. So I'm going to have that there and I'm going to place the adhesive strip onto the magnet so this side is going to go towards the wood and this side is going towards the magnet so it's going to go on there like this not like this okay so let's do that let's attach it so it's cool and now that's ready to go in and this is where I thought uh, this was pretty uh, good idea just to have that holding in place I roughly sort of lined this up beforehand so this is held by the magnet and then I, I don't really need anything else inside the guitar, I can just put this in. Bring that close and so I'm just pressing it, making sure that adhesive is sticking on there nicely. And then onto the last strip. So for this one, I'm going to need to take this magnet out now. And that's fine because it's held so I can just leave the support that on there nice and secure and to remove this strip ready to go in that's it it's ready to go uh, now just back to the thing that I mentioned before about the angles trying to be straight like this now I'm just going to turn it a little bit like that so you can see what I mean now what they say in the instructions is to try to make sure 
that the angle here and coming through here is like this as straight as it can be here you can see we've got a little bit of an angle it's just coming like that maybe in a perfect world if we adjusted this like that then it's kind of more straight like that uh, I think I know with me when I tested this before that didn't actually suit me and I needed it kind of with a bit of an angle like that but that's basically what that was and I also for me I have this bent back uh, one or two it just depends but that's it that is the guitar support all done and installed and it probably took about uh, 10 minutes but I did spend a little bit of time beforehand just uh, finding out my own special setup 